I'm having a major issue with Windows 10 and multiple programs including Microsoft Flight Simulator. These are my current PC specifications. I built this computer December of 2020 and I've tested the machine thoroughly to make sure that what I'm having is not a hardware issue. I've ran multiple RAM tests, stress tested my CPU and GPU, and I've made sure all my drivers are up to date multiple times. I even did a full Windows reinstall about a month ago, which uh, right now would be about May 2021. My issue is a weird one. I'll be doing something on my computer and it will suddenly freeze and lock up, but not really in the way you'd expect. It's a lot harder to describe, so I'm just going to show it to you instead. Microsoft Flight Simulator locks my computer very quickly, so I'm going to open that and show you what happens. So you see I have a video on the left playing. It's going to stop playing when the computer completely locks up, and I'm constantly scrolling and switching between tabs on my right screen, and I've got Microsoft Flight Simulator in the middle, which is completely up to date. Everything is fine until I decide to open my settings real quick, and then you can see the launch screen on the settings uh, program never goes away. It just sits there loading forever. At this point, I wasn't sure if my PC was frozen, so I'm attempting to load different tabs on the right monitor to see if it's actually responding. And you can see I try to open Flight Radar 24, and it just sits there and loads forever. And now Chrome won't even close the tab. So I go to pause the sim and I try to restart the settings app. And then I, by now at this point I can tell my, my computer is completely frozen. The settings window won't load. The tab playing the video on the left is frozen and I can't scroll on it. And even though my mouse can move between all the tabs, you can see I'm attempting to click and scroll on stuff on my right display. And it's just not, it's just frozen. I can't do anything. This is incredibly annoying and it happens constantly on my computer. It happens daily. A lot of times I'll just be browsing Google Chrome and it will do this. And I have to hold my PC's power button for three seconds and force shut it off and lose a lot of progress on anything I'm doing. You can see Windows is kind of responsive for some things. Like it managed to close Flight Simulator, but it's not letting me close the settings app or change any of the volume in the volume mixer. It also lets me kind of drag Task Manager around for a few seconds and then that completely freezes too. And you can see my mouse right now is trying to click between the different windows and just nothing's working. It'll sit like this and it'll be in the state for hours. It won't actually blue screen, you just have to manually restart the computer. When my PC boots back up, I go to take a look at the error logs, but it's pretty much useless. Windows Event Viewer doesn't tell me a single description of what just happened. It just tells me that my PC had a critical restart. And uh, yeah, that's because it just stopped working and wouldn't respond. App Crash View is the most helpful here, but it doesn't show the crash either. It shows the multiple other crashes I'm having on this PC. I mainly only use P3D and GTA 5, and both of these programs have been constantly crashing for me and spitting out the status access violation exception code, which I have no idea what the cause is because my RAM has been tested multiple times and passes every single time. You can also see here that Microsoft Flight Simulator has also had a crash because of status access violation. That happened, a few, that happened a few days ago, and it, for some reason, didn't freeze my computer like it does the rest of the time. But I have no idea what the fix is because, again, my RAM has been tested thoroughly and is, completely, is working completely fine. The program who crashed also wasn't any help because Windows stopped responding and froze. It didn't even create a mini dump, so we can't view what just happened. Overall, I'm completely clueless as to what to do here. All of these things, these are all the things that I've done so far. I have no idea where to start pinpointing this issue, and I'm hoping someone somewhere has had something like this before and can give me an idea on where to start. Asobo, if you're watching, I have absolutely no clue what to do. Everything on my computer is up to date, and it's a fresh reinstall of Windows. I don't know how I can have this many issues.